Let's discuss importance of law of gravitation, universal law of gravitation. The first point that we would discuss under this heading is that it is the gravitation force of the earth that the force that bind us to the earth. Now in the absence of this force, let us first try to understand what will happen in the absence of this force. Now you, it's very interesting that uh, if you go to space, uh, you know, any region outside the earth, let us say you are inside the uh, space shuttle, right? Under that condition, the gravity is not there, right? So, in the absence of gravity, look at these images, what happens to the objects and the people inside the space shuttle where you do not have the gravity. See, all these fruits that you see over here, they are not coming back to the ground, they are they are being flying in the air. If you keep apple, it is there only, the orange and pears all, they are in the air. Even the astronauts, look at their hairs. Their hairs are being upwards, they are not being pulled down like the one we have on earth, right? Look at their positions, they are almost flying. So, in the absence of gravity, the objects, they are not on the ground or they are not they are not able to stay on the surface. Suppose you take this apple over here, if you put it on the table it will stay there, but an apple over in the space will be there, you know it will not come down, it will not stick to the surface, right, it will fly, people will fly over there and look at the image, other image, here also you can see astronauts they are almost flying in the spaceship, they are not, they are not able to even sit. Right? They have to tie themselves to the belt so that they can sit, otherwise their bodies, they are flying inside the spaceship, see, right. So, this happens in the absence of gravity, but when we have gravitation force which is in, on the earth, then we are able to walk on the ground, we are able to stay close to the ground, on the ground. If we keep anything, it stays on the table or on the surface because gravitation force is pulling everything down, okay. So, that is why it is very important even for human survival. We would not be able to walk easily uh, if we do not have the gravitational force. We, we will fly like astronauts inside the spaceship, right. Next is the motion of moon around the earth. So, we have already discussed that there is a centripetal force between sun and earth and earth and moon and the centripetal force keep these uh, planets like let us say the centripetal force between earth and moon enables moon to uh, make a circular orbit around the earth and that centripetal force is coming from the gravitational force of attraction. It is this gravitational force, the pull between earth and the moon that is providing the centripetal force and enabling the circular orbital motion. Third, the motion of the planets around the sun, right? See, this is sun and you have eight planets, so many planets, eight planets who are making the orbit around the sun. How are they making orbit around the sun? It is the gravitational attraction between sun and the planet, let us say this is Mercury, this is Venus, let us say this is Mars and here you have Earth, so on and so forth. All these planets, they are attracted by the sun and this attractive force is acting like a centripetal force which is keeping all these planets in the circular orbit or in the elliptical orbit around the sun. Fourth, the tides due to moon and the sun. Now see, uh, you must have seen uh, tides in uh, you know in the ocean and in the sea. What, how do they generate? So, when earth, when sun, moon and earth, they are in this position, this particular orientation that sun moon and earth, they are adjacent, then the combined gravitational pull of sun and moon, 
right sun is applying gravitational force towards itself moon is also applying so this gravitational force attracts the water and it creates high tide and on the other side it creates low tide okay so the attraction of sun and moon on the water bodies creates high tide so they are also responsible for tides 